But also, just to say, one of his finest moments was when we did get Brexit done. Mm. That gave us the flexibility to move uh, autonomously with the vaccine rollout. Now, we could have moved autonomously as part of the European Union with the vaccine rollout, but no other government did. So that would suggest to me that that gave us the flexibility to do it ourselves. And I would, I, I would say thousands and tens of thousands of people probably avoided losing their life because of the early intervention of the vaccine rollout. So I think he should be applauded for that. But then again, you need to balance that up with how the whole pandemic was handled. But I, I, again, I would be fair to them to say, look, no one expected this. No one knew about this. No one expected could see it coming. So everybody was having to deal with it instantaneously. So I think the vaccine rollout was a massive success. If you compare it as well to the other countries as well, most people did. I mean, most of them messed up and didn't know how to handle it. It wasn't an easy, easy thing no. to deal with. Not and sure. I'm not convinced that Keir Starmer would have done a better job. But interestingly enough, I was reading, and this was, we were actually talking about the war later on in the programme, but I was reading something that, you know, Sergei Lavrov said, and now he's obviously the, uh, the Russian foreign minister, and he actually accused UK politicians of sacrificing the interests of its people for political ambitions. Um, and I actually think that, look, at, I mean, I don't really agree with any of the Russian regime at all, but that one comment there... I think that there is, I think that is true, because mm, if you look at the maybe. way they're arguing over this, arguing over that, they wouldn't let over beer gate, party gate, all this nonsense, whilst literally the world is collapsing around them and they're still focusing so heavily on those things. So it's interesting. It just shows the importance of Boris Johnson in, in this relationship because Sergei Lavrov, I think is his name, yes. he's the foreign yeah. minister, the real sort of pub yeah, doorman. Yeah, the Russian geezer. Then <laughs> I, I think the Russians hate Johnson. I really do. Well, they do because, and that's a good thing for the Ukrainians. It does, well, of course it does I think.